I know this is a really, really risky thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to see if I can buy all of my motorcycle gear off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm a brand new motorbike rider and I need everything. So come along on my journey with me to see if I can find everything I need from Facebook Marketplace and hopefully save lots and lots of dollars. Let's do this. I've seen quite a few videos here on YouTube that say, you gotta be careful not to just spend all of your budget on your motorcycle because gear is so expensive. I do not want to spend thousands of dollars on motorcycle gear. But at the same time, I want quality gear. I want gear that is going to keep me alive if I come off a motorbike. So the only way that I can see moving forward is to buy used gear. I'm not gonna be buying a helmet from Facebook Marketplace. There's heaps on there. But one of the first things that my motorbike instructor ever told me was that you never buy a used helmet because if it has been dropped and you wouldn't know if you're buying a used helmet. If it's been dropped, then it's been, the, the safety of it is compromised. The point is, apparently you don't buy used helmets. Okay, so I'm in Facebook Marketplace. As you can see, I have been looking up motorbike gear already, so it is recommending me motorcycle products and blueberries. <laughs> I do love blueberries, so that is that is a very good recommendation. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's look for a jacket. So I'm just gonna type in uh, ladies motorcycle jacket. Look, see this here? This is exactly what I'm not looking for. I don't know why designers think that women love these little swirly, like tattoo designs from the 90s. Love that so much, but it clearly doesn't have any shoulder protection. That is really out there. I I think I may have found a contender for a jacket. This is a dry rider and to my knowledge, dry riders are a pretty good brand. There's some gloves as well. They look like they might fit me. They're selling two jackets, a male and a female. They're asking for a hundred dollars for both jackets. And then there's the gloves as well. They're only 20 bucks. Okay, so I will send these guys a message and see what they say. This is potentially my first ever motorbike jacket. Look, I'm getting my hopes up. I need to come back down to earth because there is a very real possibility that this is not gonna work out for me. I hit time-lapse instead of camera. This is me talking really excitedly about how both the jacket and the gloves fit. So I got both of them. They only wanted 50 bucks for the jacket. So it was a mega bargain. I also got to pat their hairless cat. Okay, so this is the jacket. It is black with some white strips down the front and sides. It's made of a lightweight mesh material. It does have armor in the elbows, back and shoulders, which is all CE approved, which I hear is good. Uh, this is how it looks on I really like the uh, I guess the curve shape with the lines that kind of mimics a hourglass figure which I certainly do not have it does have vents at the back which you can open up to give you a bit more airflow I really like this jacket my only worry is that it may be a little bit too big on me it also did come with this in a layer which is a waterproof layer I took it out and I couldn't get it back in it's really difficult and I gave up I'm sure at some stage I'll try again but for now it is staying out and these are the gloves they're a brand called five they are winter gloves so they're very very thick they feel quite comfortable on my only worry really is that they're quite bulky they are male gloves, so maybe I shouldn't have expected anything less, but I got to tell you, they really, they just look like Hulk fists. Look at me. <laughs> I mean, I've already got big hands as, as a female, but oh my gosh, I could smash through a wall with these things. <laughs> Here's just a little obligatory boogie. And now we will move on to the boots. 
ladies motorcycle boots. I'm probably going to be more particular with the boots than anything else because I don't want a pair of boots that have been really really worn like these ones. I hate the idea of my feet smelling like someone else's feet. Very limited options on the boots. Ooh, I really like these. They're kind of perfect. They're in my size. They look brand new. Says that they've been hardly worn. Oh, sorry, never worn. Let's send them a message. Good morning. I'm starting my day by going to hopefully pick up some boots. Where I'm going is pretty far away actually. I live uh, about 30 minutes away from where I'm driving to so that'll make it a one hour round trip which is going to feel like a massive waste of time if these boots don't fit but it's okay I have a plan. The area that I'm going to has really cool markets if the boots don't end well then at least I'll get to go to my favorite markets and get my favorite almond croissant. Something really bad happened. I feel like I could cry. The bad thing that happened had nothing to do with the boots. In fact, I completely forgot to talk about the boots. So this is my later on voiceover telling you that the boots didn't fit. They were too small. Okay, back to the bad thing. So I put some cash in my pocket ready to go and buy the boots and then when I checked my pockets later after I'd long left I couldn't find the cash and now I have no idea what happened to it it was $120 I did just message the lady and ask if if there's any chance I did drop it on her ground okay the lady just messaged me back <laughs> she said that her husband went outside to where my car was parked and found it on the ground the whole $120 she said that she would um, transfer it back to my bank account which I really appreciate <laughs> please learn from my mistake here if you are going to try something on don't just put your cash in your pocket willy-nilly and just expect it to be there when you're done I don't know how lucky we're gonna actually be fine <laughs> some more boots because the last ones were really hard to find. I don't even care if they're ladies at this point. Anything, anything will do. I think I may have found something. It says that they're brand new. I don't believe that looking at them, but they still look like they're in pretty good nick and they're my size and I'm desperate. Okay, I'm off to the second boots try on. I've got my money. Do I have my money? I'm wearing a big park jacket today, which means that I can put my money in an upright pocket and it won't fall out. I submitted an offer that was $20 below the listed price and he accepted that offer, which is really great for me because $20 is how much I lost from my last attempt at trying to buy some boots. I got the boots. They actually think that I might like them more than I thought I did. They are certainly not brand new, which is fine because they're still in really good nick. In my excitement, I forgot to tell you about how that transaction went. He opened the door and stood at the door and he looked at me with the blankest of expressions. Immediately, I thought, crap. I'm at the wrong house. So then I was really awkwardly trying to explain what I was doing standing there. Oh, hi, I'm just looking for a place. Was messaging someone about a pair of boots and then thankfully his eyes lit up and he was like, oh yeah, I forgot you were coming. If I can offer a tip on avoiding that awkwardness, message the person when you're on your way, just in case 
they forgot you were coming. Okay, these are the boots, how they look on. They do have a waterproof inner layer, which I haven't tested the effectiveness of yet, but I am hoping for the best. Uh, they they look really cool. I really like the look of them. They've got these little reflective panels on the back They do feel Again like the gloves. They feel quite bulky I usually wear sneakers while I'm riding and that makes it really easy to shift gears Which I know is not going to be as easy wearing these. It's just something I'll have to get used to Okay, the next thing we're looking for is a pair of ladies motorcycle pants $55 readers oh kids right ooh ooh dragon jeans I am interested in dragon jeans I mean they're very expensive to buy brand new which this is wrong of me but if anything is expensive I just assume that it's going to be safe and well made but those are way too small oh Free armor. Ooh. Ladies new Neo. I'm seeing this Neo brand a lot. Neo Kev. See, $89. I'm not gonna buy an item on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred dollars when I can buy it brand new for $89. I may have found something. These are really cool. I really like these. Okay, so these are called Dragon Oil Slicks Riding Jeans. Yeah, I really like, I mean, they're the only pants I can find on Facebook right now that would fit me. So I'm on the way to the servo, AKA the gas station for non-Australians. I'm gonna be meeting a lady there who has a pair of dragon jeans. She's actually coming up from, it's about a two hour drive away. She's not coming just to deliver me the pants. She just happened to be coming up this way. So that worked out quite well for me. So hopefully they fit and we'll see what happens. I knew as soon as I saw them that they were gonna be too small and I was right. She was like, I wish you luck on your um, hunt for some pants. It wasn't a good news story, but at least I didn't lose my money this time. Silver linings, try again. I am really not joking when I say that I have scoured the internet looking for a pair of jeans that will fit me. Everything I find is either the wrong size or I really don't like it and that's not the point of this exercise. It's to find some gear that I can wear forever and that I'm going to enjoy wearing. I've come to the conclusion that I need to widen my search to every single major city in Australia. What I'm planning on doing is finding some jeans that I like and then asking the seller if they would be prepared to post it. I know this is a really, really risky thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna start with Brisbane, my hometown. Ooh, these look promising. Dragon jeans, $120. They're a size 14, which is good because after trying on those other dragon jeans, I know that I need to size up. I'm just gonna go ahead and message this person and ask if, um, if they would be happy to post the item. <laughs> my package has arrived. I must say, I noticed this package on my doorstep when I got home from work. But I knew I didn't have enough time to set up my camera and my lights and all do all of the things and still make it to Zumba on time. So I had to leave it and just go, which I got to tell you was a killer. I was, you know, when you get a something in the mail, like an anything and you have to open it straight away. I had to practice. What's it called? Delayed gratification. I had to practice delayed gratification. I'm really not very good at that, but I did it. I, well, I kind of did. I mean, I, I could have prepared my face and outfit a bit better for this video. Here I am in my Zumba outfit. I haven't even showered. <sighs> Disgusting, I know. How embarrassing if this isn't even what I think it is. <laughs> And then on camera, I'm just opening this other package that I ordered and forgot about. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. The, the shirt I ordered two months ago. I'm just, I spit my lip. That's the second time today. I was eating today and I bit my lip as well. Anyway. 
I'm nervous. I'm going to tell you I am. <laughs> Just <clears throat> one moment while I freak out. You can do this. chill I have no chill oh my god okay 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 <laughs> they I mean they look like jeans they I don't know what I was expecting but yes they look like jeans I gotta tell you though they look a little big I can't remember who told me this is probably my mum and she does not generally source credible information but she once told me that if you put pants around your neck and it touches at the back like just touches then it's gonna fit and I guess yeah by her logic these will fit me so let's put my mum to the test Okay, so these are the jeans. Ugh, it's not good news for these jeans. It's not that they're too big. It's just they kind of don't sit right. Like, what is this? Since when do women have crotches that go... Down to, down to their knees. Like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, come on. And it's not like I can even... <laughs> okay, I think I can make this work. Let's put a belt on. <laughs> no. no, you know what it's doing. You know when you put a belt on and you get this little like... Hello. <laughs> put the belt on and then try and scoot... <laughs> scoot the pants up. Okay. Better. They're better. They are not flattering at all. They're really not. I mean... They... It's... I think it's just this crotch area. I mean, like <laughs> sitting on the bike. If I lean fully over, then I still don't have crack. So that's good. Do I? Okay, we did it. We got a complete motorcycle outfit from the Facebook marketplace. This is the complete look. I must say it is much more cohesive than I was expecting. I think it actually looks quite good altogether. My eyes are immediately drawn to those Hulk fists, but that's a really minor criticism overall. My bigger criticism though is just feeling like a penguin waddling around in these jeans. So now the moment of truth. How much did we actually save by getting all of our gear this way? Okay, so first up we've got the dry rider jacket and that is $233.96 brand new. And we paid $50 and that is a saving of $183.96. Then we've got our gloves, brand new. They are $129.95, we paid $20. That's a savings of $109.95. All right, and then we've got, <laughs> what is this post? <laughs> it's a bit weird. I mean, there's nothing not weird about Dragon now that I know and have tried on their jeans. Dragon jeans, $314.95. We paid $120, including shipping. So that's a savings of $194.95. Then we have the boots, the Nero former boots, and brand new they are $209.95. We paid 
and so that's a savings of $109.95 all together. plus $108.95 That is the retail price of all of our items added together. Altogether, we only spent $310. We saved $598.85. That's amazing. I'm trying to remember how to do percentages. It's been a while. We paid 35% of the regular retail price for all of our items combined. Wow. So do I recommend that you get all of your motorcycle gear from Facebook Marketplace? The short answer is yes. There's always a but though. And my first but is that you can't be in a rush if you wanna do this. From the time that I started looking for items on Facebook Marketplace till the time that I had everything I needed was one month. So if you're going for a ride this weekend, it's not gonna be as feasible for you to get all of your gear from Facebook Marketplace. The second but is that I do not recommend getting items shipped to you. I think there could be a safer way to do that if you were to go to a physical store and try on the exact same jeans in the exact same size, but I didn't do that and it didn't work out for me at all. Hello, it's the later on voiceover telling you that I forgot one very important but, and that is that you're probably not going to get gear in the style that you really, really love by buying gear this way. You will have to settle for styles that you wouldn't normally pick out if you were buying brand new. And that's just because what your style is versus what is actually available are two very, very different things. But what Facebook Marketplace is really good for is buying items at a fraction of the cost of buying them brand new. And it's for that reason that I really recommend doing this if you're wanting to save some money on your motorcycle gear, but still get really good quality items. We've come to the end of our Facebook motorcycle gear journey together. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more motorcycle related videos like this one, then please subscribe. And just so you know that with every new subscriber, I literally scream and jump around like a lunatic. So if you do subscribe, just know that on this end, that's what's happening. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a bit. Bye.